too late. How do you like that? If you have the truth and you hold the truth up to another individual who doesn't know the truth, who was taken in by the Pope or by Obama lock, stock, and barrel, you have a chance to save a soul. I'll be back. Think about it. Join the Savage Nation. Call now, 855-400-SAVAGE, 855-400-7282. Savage. Your Savage Nation is sponsored by SwissAmerica.com. It's the only company I trust for tangible assets, gold and silver. Call 800-B-U-I-C-O-I-N. Well, today we are exposing the Enviro-Religio-Industrial Complex in the Savage Nation. A seamless integration between the environmental gangsters, Religion Incorporated, and the Green Industrial Complex. It's all one and the same now, which is why politics and religion have now finally joined forces to uh, hoodwink the populations of the world. I haven't taken one call. Let's begin on line three. KBOI. Shannon, welcome. Make your point quickly, please. Yes, the post-liberal issues are a veil to the, to the, so to speak, of what's going on behind the scenes. Um, we're going to be caught off guard. The greater, the greater enemy, we have many enemies, but the greatest enemy are the Muslims. They are the sleepy, the sleeper cells. Well, sir, and, madam, madam, hold on. We know about the dangers of Islamofascism. We have an entire military-industrial complex set up to defend ourselves against it. We have a DHS to defend us against Islamofascism, an FBI. But where do we have anything set up to defend us from communist ideas being espoused by a kindly by a kindly preacher? No, no, it's it's not going to take over at all. And ma'am, I also want to say, Shannon, it's it's easy to say that we should focus on radical Islam. Most of us do. But we were caught off guard by radical Catholicism. It came up out of nowhere and now it's facing us in the form of the Pope's messages. His environmental messages are completely false. And they mean, they're, mean, they're, they're meant only to enslave us, not only with the lies and the scientific nonsense that he puts forward, but to enslave us to his concepts of a top-down socioeconomic system run by some mindless bureaucrats in a distant location. Don't you see the threat of that? No. Well, then you're an ignoramus. You're a, you're a classic, ignorant human being. If you can't see the danger of this man's ideas, then you're one of his sheeple. You're one of the sheeple that has allowed Obama to become president and get away with what he gets away with. And I want to close this hour by saying, we know that bombs kill people, but we can often spot the bomber. But I would say that radical ideas kill nations. And now we have a Trojan horse communist marching in our streets with the banner of peace do you get it do you see how dangerous this visit is be aware it's all you've got is your awareness join the savage nation call now 855-400-SAVAGE 855-400-7282 savage warning the savage nation contains adult language Adult content, psychological nudity, listener discretion is advised. And now, America's most exciting radio talk show, The Savage Nation, home of unprotected talk, borders, language, culture, and here he is, Michael Savage. So, we've all been focused on the Islamists, rightly so, because they're on the march. And they have their, uh, their men within. But now, who would have guessed? Who would have guessed that socialism slash communism redistribution would come from the church itself? Now we're being attacked on two fronts. The church was once a bulwark against communism. Now it's espousing the same exact message. Who was the Pope defending? Who was the Pope defending? Think about this. Now, what do progressives really want? Remember this, socialism is a brutal, virulent ide ideology. Free enterprise is stifled by force. Property is redistributed by force. You cannot complain because speech is repressed by force. 
The so-called progressives are the most vicious subpopulation in this nation. That's why they don't speak out against the massacres occurring daily against Christians and other minorities, including homosexuals by their friends, the Islamists. They are all used to all of the heroes doing the exact same thing. The Pope promotes junk science, page 209 of Government Zero. Writes an encyclical letter on the subject of climate. He's here now. He's going to give a speech on it tomorrow at the UN. Remember I said to you, or I, well, maybe I didn't say it on this show, that the church limits papal infallibility to a very narrow range of subjects? Well, encyclicals have traditionally been issued by popes on only the most important religious issues. That naturally limits them to subjects the author knows something about. The Pope knows less about climate science than he does about economics. I actually worked to save rainforests as an environmental activist before that moniker became synonymous with socialist. Pope Francis has never done environmental work. His only scientific experience is as a chemical technician, which has nothing to do with climate or the environment. The only thing the Pope knows about climate is that when it rains, his aides open up an umbrella for him. In an attempt to represent him as a scientist, the progressive left has propagated the myth that Pope Francis has a master's degree in chemistry. He doesn't. According to the National Catholic Reporter, he doesn't have a college degree in any subject, neither a master's nor a bachelor's degree. But that doesn't stop Francis from rendering his utterly valueless opinion. In the absence of any scientific Understanding of climate or the environment, he just repeats liberal talking points, putting a religious spin on them. Well, you get the picture. Using the church to promote a political movement. It's all in government zero, and I implore all thinking Catholics to read a copy and give one to a friend of theirs. And now I want to turn to the callers in this remaining hour of the show. Let's begin right at the top. Brad and WABC, you know, you've been holding a long time. Brad, fire away. Yeah, I got a solicitation from Catholic Relief Services to donate to their cause to help uh, the hordes of illegal immigrants that are coming into this country. And they sent, and the thing that struck me was they sent me a bookmarker with the picture of Dope Francis holding a dove with a quote of his saying, we all have to think if we can become a little poorer, all oh. of us have to do this. How can I become a little poorer and wow. to be more like Jesus, who was the Oh, my poor God. Teacher? And why is the church so enamored of bringing in millions of Muslim refugees? Why? Or to destroy this country. No, I don't think so. It's purely, uh, it's purely greed. Catholic Charities makes, uh, the last I checked, $2 billion from the federal government in the resettlement of refugees in the form of services. Do you know that? $2 billion with a B. Baptist Family Services, billions. Jewish services. Wherever you turn, the religions have been bought out by this federal government under Obama in these service organizations bringing in refugees. He has, he has gotten to them through greed and through the bottom line, the dollar. It's a sad time indeed. KBET, Bob, go ahead. You're next up. Make your point on the Savage Nation. Like, I would just like to remind people of what the word Protestant means. It means one who protests. So if you're a Protestant, that means that you protest the Roman Catholic Church. But I'm not protesting the Roman Catholic Church. See, Bob, don't, don't misinterpret what I'm saying. I am protesting the Pope's message, not the church. I understand that, but I just wanted to point that out, that people forget what the word Protestant actually is. All right, that's a si it's a side point. It's a valid one for Protestants, but they, they no longer criticize Catholicism, and nor is the show about that aspect of the religious differences between Protestantism and Catholicism. It is about the false message of the Pope, because he is here and he's espousing it. It's that simple. W on the web. Joe, go ahead, please. Uh, on line nine, you're on the Savage Nation. Hello, Dr. Savage. Um, I have a theory as to why the Pope is doing what he's doing, and I thought I'd run it past you. I believe that the Pope is doing this for the fulfillment of scriptures. I cite as my historical evidence for this uh, Caiaphas, the chief priest during the time of Jesus of the Temple of Jerusalem, 
had a dream that one man should die to save the Jewish people, and he set actions in motion which led to the arrest and crucifixion of Jesus, thus fulfilling scripture made during the time of Daniel and Isaiah. I believe whether Pope Francis knows it or not, he is being directed by, let's say, a higher power, God, to help bring about the, the time where you'll have to have a mark to purchase, buy, or sell, that there'll be a one-world government, and how can something like this happen? People get put in positions of power and influence to make it happen. God appoints the rulers of the earth. I believe, Dr. Savage, that he's doing what he's doing for the fulfillment of Scripture. Yeah, but you're making several, several different points at the same time. Are you agreeing we should have a dot on our head or a mark on our head to purchase things? Oh, no. That, that's, some, that's something, Dr. Savage, I understand as a Catholic. If you get that mark, there's no forgiveness for right, that. Let's forget, let's forget the mark. I don't quite know what you're saying, though. You're saying the Pope is, is doing a good thing by disseminating lies? Yes, I believe that, that he is doing what he's doing so that Scripture can be fulfilled. Remember that before the Messiah returns... Wait, 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 wait. He's disseminating the lies about global warming, for example, in order to bring about what? To bring about a one-world government, to bring about... And you, wait, so wait, so you are in favor of a one-world government? No, I am not. So what are you saying then? The Pope is doing, for, doing this for good or for evil? I believe he's being directed, and I think that, that it's evil, but I think the reason it's happening, Dr. Savage, is for the fulfillment of Scripture. Scripture. So you're, say, you're saying that although it's evil, he's doing it for good reasons? Well, look at this, Savage. During the time of, uh, of, it's in the Torah, they even mentioned, oh. about, they don't call Judas by name, but they mentioned that he would betray the Son of Man for so many pieces of silver. And so, even though Judas was evil, he was mentioned in Scripture. I believe that the Pope is doing what he's doing so that Scripture can be fulfilled, and that the, the time on Earth is going to get so bad, because I agree with you, that if we go socialist and communist in America, there is no more hope for the world. Well, let's leave it at that. The Pope is a false prophet. Let's leave it at that. K-O-H, is that K-O-H? K-O-H Radio. Actually, there's another letter missing, I think. But Lino on KOH Radio. Lino, what city are you calling from? I'm calling from Urington, Nevada. And once again, I have supported you from the beginning on this very issue. I've called before on this issue and others. And I want to draw attention in line with what you're saying uh, on, on the radio today. Uh, the Pope, it isn't just his sayings. He's actively participating in organizing. For instance, in, on July the 20th, he uh, convoked the second world meeting of popular movements in Bolivia, for which he was given a hammer and sickle crucifix by Ebro Morales for his speech. I've read the entire speech and analyzed it, and here's the prestige, just a couple of sentences, and the Pope says, the future of humanity is fundamentally in the hands of the people. This system is by now intolerable. Workers find it intolerable. The people find it intolerable. The Earth itself, our sister, uh, Mother Earth, also finds it intolerable. I wish to join uh, boy, my voice with yours in calling for the three L's land, lodging, and labor for all. I said it, and I repeat it. These are sacred, these are sacred rights. It is so so it's, right. communist, it's the Communist Manifesto, period. There's nothing new under the sun. He's, he's speaking exactly as Lenin did. Is that correct? That's exactly right. Uh, and well, now, well, do you, then you do agree, and I resonated with you today when I read from my book, Lenin's Pope. He is Lenin's Pope. He should be remembered forever through eternity as Lenin's Pope. It's astonishing that people don't see this, but the ignoramuses in America see nothing. With a pope that is organizing front groups, this, he, this is the second time he's done this. The first time he did it was in October of last year in the Vatican. Uh, it, was, it was the first world meeting of the popular movements convoked by him. One of the movements that he is supporting is called the uh, land work, the land workers movement. It's called the MSD, headed by Pedro uh, Stadile, and and so on the rest of it, he is actively uh, 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 putting together and promoting these these flagging front groups that were falling apart. He's given new new uh, 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 venom. All right, knowing that he knowing that he is an absolute uh, Leninist. Do you think that the Catholic Church can recover from this, this insult to its own history? 
not institutionally, is going to take a divine intervention. There's no way uh, without a divine 